and making it in the music industry. Now, look, come on, you know it's not easy. And our next guest, Tom Spate, has had to overcome more challenges than most. Yeah, just as his career was starting to take off in 2014, he almost lost his life to Crohn's disease. He spent months in hospital where he wrote songs for his debut album, Collide. So imagine that, you're really ill, you're struggling, and what do you do? You, you're still creative. Mm. And it all, it's all come to fruition. He's going to join us in a moment. Take a look at his latest single, Little Love. Over a little love I thought we'd be back on the HS2 line then. Uh, Tom Spate joins us now. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Morning. Uh, that was great. I mean, how are you doing? We talked about the, the health struggles. How, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good at this, you know, at this present minute. Um, yeah, it's been an uphill struggle kind of to get to this moment. Um, you know, this time last year, I was in hospital writing the album. You had a perforated bowel. <laughs> yes. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's through through Crohn's. Yes. Crohn's. Yeah, yeah. I, I um, perforated my bowel on my birthday, three weeks since the album recording, so it wasn't ideal. Um, but yeah, you know, it, I'm really proud of the record and that we kind of, you know, overcome that. And um, how easy is it to be creative when you're in pain? Well, I had a cannula in my hand as well, so that was uh, even trickier. But it was, you know, I think it was the sixth week of my hospital stay and they gave me my own room because I'm an international pop star. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think you know more, who I am? Yeah, I was like, give me my room, I need to write songs, <laughs> I've got an album. No, um, I'm an artist. Guy. Yeah, no, I think they were just sick of the sight of me, but um, <laughs> they were like, when are you going to go home? Um, but... Um, yeah, I just, I was, I think I just wanted to escape for a little bit. You knew you had it in you though, because you've um, earlier in your career you've supported what Ed Sheeran, Ben Howard, Travis, Keen. So you, you know, you've got kind of the yeah. support of these major yeah, artists I, and who respect you and and your music. I've been really, really lucky with like people championing my songs, and you know, we have Paul McCartney and everyone's just saying really nice things. But with Crohn's, it kind of comes at you when you least kind of need it really and um i you know i think there's you could probably put the correlation of me making my debut album with me perforating my bow at the same time but um yeah it just you know i, I got some good songs out of it so let's hear, hear a little bit more shall we? a little more upbeat isn't it that one yeah. i mean it, it, does the crones does that make it hard for you to plan what you do like tour and recordings um, and that kind of thing in the future i'm just the yeah the least rock and roll person probably in the music business but <laughs> I was, I, you know, I, I grew up listening to like Oasis and stuff, so I wanted to be a rock star, but deep down, I'm, you know, I just, I like music and like writing songs. And um, yeah, I, I just, I just enjoy doing music. So I'm not too bothered about kind of, you know, missing out on all that kind of what, stuff. What, the partying? The partying, yeah, no the late alcohol. nights. No, I, no I, late I haven't night. had a hangover since uh, 2016. Well, no yeah. one can say you're missing out. No one enjoys yeah. a hangover. Um, the music, it was interesting, you said a little, that one was a bit more upbeat. The tunes are upbeat, yeah. but I worry about you. I worry Don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. It, the words are sad. Yeah. And like, it seems like you've been through quite a bit of pain and, you know, contemplation and yeah, my, pandering. Yeah, my love life has been taking a battering, yeah. Has it? Yeah. But, you know, I'm net Who's profit with that? the songs. So. Whose fault's that? <laughs> uh, oh, God. Where do I start? We can... We can... Should we have a little therapy session? Yeah, after? we'll do. We'll, we'll do that. Yeah. Shall I go? No, no, yeah. no, no. We'll do it after. We'll have a little chat and fix and fix Tom. But it's you know it's been an amazing time. I got out of hospital in June and I've travelled the world. I've been to Brazil touring and America and uh, I went to Mexico and Eastern Europe and it's just yeah it's been really busy. So it's not it's not going to hold me back, you know. And you have um, through all the treatment not forgotten those who've really looked after you as well. We've yeah. got this picture of you presenting. Um, your album to the NHS staff. I mean, I think you did yeah. tweet as well, and you just yeah. kind of, you're a big fan of the work. The, oh, the work the NHS. You know, these, has done these for you. guys looked after me for nearly two months, and um, you know, I tell them I'm a musician and stuff like that, and they were like, I don't think you know. I wanted to kind of you know, they'll be made up there on TV. Brilliant, <laughs> yeah. good. We'll keep it up there for a couple of but, seconds longer. Yeah, but um, no, I'm yeah. The NHS were everything to me. You know, I was incredibly, incredibly grateful that I was. You know, four days after I got out of hospital, I was uh, supporting Snow Patrol. And really? Yeah. That quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was on a liquid diet at the time and not the alcohol kind of. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a real whirlwind. But you know what? For, there will be lots of people and young people, you know, people who have ambitions to be a musician and who have Crohn's or, you know, are suffering with debilitating um, yeah. bowel syndrome. And you are an inspiration. 
I wouldn't Today. go that far. Go well, that far, but. but it just shows you can do anything, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You just kind of persevere. Yeah. I got diagnosed when I was 18, and, if, you know, if, if I knew someone else was, you know, had Crohn's and was doing music, that would help, yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm, my hope, my album's hopeful, and, you know, it's, there is, you know, the sad lyrics there, but there's a, bit, there's a lot of hope. The hope and love in the future. Yeah. And, you know, I just love gigging. I'm actually on tour again at the end of November in the UK. So you'll, you'll, have, you'll have to come, we'll get your ticket. Love to, you're coming but, up to Manchester? Uh, Liverpool. Okay, yeah. London. Not yeah. Bristol? We're, we've got London, Bristol, yeah. There you go, there we go. Bristol, we go. Sid, all right. And the country. tickets are on sale tomorrow. There you go, you got that. And shall I get the bit in about your album? Yeah, let's do the, uh, right. do the album. Tom album. Fate, thank you very much. Yeah. And Tom's album is called Collide. And he is happy, even though some of the words are quite sad. Thank you very much. No, thank you so much.